Hello and welcome to the Middle School Bookmarkers Super Quick Read Aloud Show. This episode we are covering Dog Driven by the author Terry Lynn Johnson. And we are going to hop right into our passage preview. This is from chapter one. Whoever's behind me is coming fast. I peek over my shoulder and see a blurry line of shapes bearing down. Mustard glances back too, then faces forward and digs in. He's so cocky, he hates getting past. An unspoken message travels through the whole team and they surge forward together. I love how the speed comes up through my feet. Cold air darts through cracks in my neck warmer. I squint into the wind. Gee, over, mustard! Don't be rude! Atta girl, Twix! I have an eight-dog team, so my front runners are at the edge of my visual range. All I can see of my leaders are furry shapes. It's as though my sunglasses are coated in Vaseline. The bright sun compounds the issue. When it reflects off the snow, it hurts my eyes, even with my dark shades. The sound of synchronized panting grows louder behind me. Trail! A boy's voice calls. I have just enough time to angle my sled to the right before his dogs come loping up beside me. They move along my sled, then shoulder past it to my dogs. Saga and Hayes both stick their faces directly in the way, stretching their necks for a good sniff. I cringe. Sixteen dogs running this close beside one another at ten miles an hour can make a nice tangled ball in a blink. Ahead, I call, trying to keep the embarrassment out of my voice. Why can't my dogs behave like everyone else's when they're out in public? I'm driving savages. I watch the other team, focused ahead, no nonsense, passing like pros. I stare at the musher as he glides by. He's near my age, or maybe a little older, and he's wearing some kind of war uniform that looks like it came out of his great-grandfather's closet. And now we're jumping ahead to a further point in chapter one. I feel a nose shoving at my butt. I turn and recognize the black and silver markings of the boy's lead dog. But then I do a double take and peer closer. Her eyes. What's wrong with your dog? What? The boy looks up and then relaxes. Oh, you mean Zesty? Yeah, she's blind as a bat. Anyway, thanks for your help. You, your lead dog? You have a blind lead dog? She's the best. Hey, Love the chat, but should we get going? You know, race? All right, now let's take a look at some reviews. So we see on Amazon, it's got a four and a half out of five stars with 128 reviews. And it was an editor's pick for the ages nine through 12. And we're about to do the back of the book summary, but if you're a teacher or librarian, here are some common core ideas that you might be able to connect to a read aloud like this. And now from the author's website, here's the back of the book summary. When you're running, you can't look too far ahead, you can't look behind, you can only focus on the now. Ever since her vision started deteriorating, 14-year-old McKenna Barney has felt out of place in the world, out of place at home and school and even on the trail with her dogs. Now, to help her younger sister with her own ongoing battle with eye disease, McKenna finds herself at the head of her team of eight sled dogs in a race she's not sure she can even see let alone win. For three days of shifting lake ice, sudden owl attacks, bitterly cold nights, and frequent snow squalls, McKenna faces both the Canadian wilderness and her terrifying weakness. But she hides the truth from everyone, including her toughest rival, Guy, despite their budding alliance. Will McKenna risk her survival, as well as that of her team, to keep her secret? Dog Driven is an adventure book, it is also related to animals, and it seems to be about overcoming disabilities. It's about 240 pages long, and the audiobook is five hours. All right, let's wrap this baby up. Moment of Truth is this book for you. You want to ask yourself, are you interested in the plot and characters, and do you want to know more? Secondly, do you feel like you could read this comfortably by yourself? And some curiosity fuel for you. Did you feel cold while reading the preview? Which line or lines made you feel that way? And finally, what kinds of problems and conflicts do you expect to see in the story? All right, guys, hit like, subscribe, whatever other stuff YouTube throws down there, and check out some other content that we have on the Middle School Bookmarkers site. We'll see you later.